A single replacement reaction occurs when one element replaces another in a single compound. This type of reaction has the general equation A plus BC yields B plus AC. In this equation, A represents a more reactive element, and BC represents the original compound. During the reaction, A will replace B, forming the product compound AC and releasing the less reactive element B. Single replacement reactions only occur when the element that is doing the replacing is more reactive than the element that's being replaced. So it's useful to have a list of elements in order of their relative reactivities. This is called the activity series, and it lists the elements in decreasing order of their reactivity. Since metals replace other metals and nonmetals replace other nonmetals, they each have their own separate activity series. So it might be helpful to have your activity series out during this lab. So now we are going to attempt four different chemical reactions. The first one is iron metal mixed with a copper 2 sulfate solution. The second is copper metal mixed with an iron 2 sulfate solution. The third is copper metal mixed with a silver 1 nitrate solution. And the second is magnesium metal mixed with a copper 2 sulfate solution. We will be combining a small amount of each of the metals with about 2 milliliters of the solution listed. So as I'm preparing my ingredients here, you should be creating a data table where you can record your observations of the metal and the solution separately before the reaction takes place. Then create a data table where you record your observations of each mixture both 15 minutes and 30 minutes after the reaction takes place. Okay, now that all of our reactions are set up, we will be waiting 15 minutes before we make our first set of observations. I'm going to speed up the clock here so that we can get 15 minutes condensed into about one and a half minutes. Okay, it's been 15 minutes, so I'm going to lift each test tube up so you can see and make your observations.
Okay, now that you've made your observations after 15 minutes, I'm going to speed up the video again for another 15 minutes and then we will make our final observations after 30 total minutes of reacting. Okay, these reactions have been sitting here for 30 minutes so what I'm going to do now is kind of dump each one out so you have a chance to see what all the products look like and I'll try to hold them up to the camera so you can make your final observations after 30 minutes. So the first reaction was iron and a copper to sulfate solution. Those were our reactants. And here is one of our products. Our second combination was copper metal and an iron to sulfate solution. So I'll try to get our products out here as best as I can so you can take a closer look at them. Okay, our third combination was copper and a silver one nitrate solution. Try to get that out. Kind of got stuck at the bottom of the test tube, but you can sort of see what it looks like as I'm getting it out here. And our last combination was magnesium and a copper to sulfate solution. The solid product had a hard time coming out, so I'm just going to hold that up there so you have a chance to make your observations. All right, that's it. This was four attempts at single replacement reactions. Based on your observations, you should be able to tell which reactions went forward and which ones did not.